24 hour bad breath prevention. Come on, okay? It's more than just a cute face around here in these parts, clean body, clean mouth clean everything it's very important okay let's get it all together he literally came to me yesterday he came to me and look i'm not even i can't even see you all but you can see i get a lot of questions about how i balance all of it there is no balance it just goes it's just going we're just going mm -hmm. that's what we're doing we're just going Yo, honestly, this is one of those nights that I seriously want to just use a makeup wipe, rip this wig off, and freaking go to sleep. But I want to do the right thing, and here we are in video form doing just that. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I create all kinds of content, one of which is skincare content like the one you're watching tonight or daytime, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. I post three times a week. I'm on TikTok and on Instagram, so make sure you follow me in all those places. And there's no one else like me. Okay, let's just get right to that, okay? All right, so today I had a, a long day. I filmed two videos, one of which was this look. It's my soft glam look. I did this lip that's in a different video. It's 10.30, it's late, and I need to get undressed. So we're gonna do the whole process, not the undressing process, you know, the skincare part of it, obvi. All right, I already flossed my teeth. I'm going to brush my teeth right now, and then I'm gonna do the skincare. If you're not familiar with me already, I take my teeth, my dental hygiene very, very seriously. I use an electric toothbrush. You should use an electric toothbrush. If you care about your teeth, your dentist will certainly be proud of you. And of course, make sure you're flossing because that is important too. The mouthwash that I love to use is this one right here, Smart Mouth. It's got dual sides. And then when you pour it into this cap, it just works magic. I don't know how to explain it. It's, okay, well, it's here. Zinc activated oral rinse. 24 hour bad breath prevention. Come on, okay? It's more than just a cute face around here in these parts, clean body, clean mouth clean everything, it's very important, okay? Let's get it all together. We're doing a hygiene routine and the skincare routine tonight, okay? So my dentist recommended, which I really do agree with, rinsing first with mouthwash, then brushing, because like, why not? And again, we're doing that, then the face. I'm doing the skincare at my sink, then I'm gonna go shower because I'm showing what I'm doing. I normally would break down the makeup in the shower and then come out and do everything, you know? But here we are. It has been such a while since I have whitened my teeth, but as you can see, they still look decent, although I do need to whiten. I drink coffee every single stinking day. So I do whiten my teeth. I have an old video, I need to update it. Uh, it's, just, but it's the same thing though, it's just old. The quality is old. I be thinking, do I need to update it? I don't know. Anyway, so let's, let's talk a little bit. I already felt this stuff before, that also, FYI, I really should not take off my lashes that way, but this is the reality. This is what I do. I am continually reminded of the fact that I am still working and walking in what it means to be more patient. But the way my personality is set, I don't rest very often. I'm often very fatigued. I'm often thinking of a million things at, at one time. You know how there's some people, and this might be you, and if it is, comment and let me know, who when they're doing something, they're thinking of the next thing, like, oh, I can't even engage in or appreciate what I'm doing right now because I'm thinking about my to-do list, my this, my that. It's not so much that, because I can turn it off and be like, let me focus on what's happening right now because this is a great moment, whether it's in a celebration, whatever it is, right? It's not so much that, it's more so, I feel like that I have so much to do all the time that I'm just always like, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And it's at a heightened level because I own my own company, which I am very proud of. And what I'm getting at here is the impatience spills over to motherhood. And I'm continually reminded that I have to be patient with me. So me, if you're new, is my six-year-old. My husband and I have a six-year-old son and he is the sweetest thing. I know that God literally created him for me because he speaks all of my love language. It, it literally is his love language. I'm sure he has more than one, but his main one, well, his main ones are affirmation and touch. That baby likes to be next to his mama. He likes to touch and hug and all the things. This is pharmacy green clean cleansing balm. He likes to touch and kiss and hold and all of the things which make me so, so happy. So I know 
my baby. I know him, right? But when it comes to me being impatient, a lot of times, you know how kids talk, you know, you see those memes where they're talking and they're like, and, 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 and then, <laughs> and then the mom or, the, or whoever it is in the meme of the video is kind of like, okay, like get to it, right? <laughs> Oh, I'm laughing now, but there have been many a times where he's explaining something to me and then I'll just finish his sentence to just move it along. And I learned that as he's gotten older, he really does not like that. And that's part of the things that I've been working on for me. Like, let me not take away his voice. I don't want him to grow up and feel like he doesn't have a voice or mommy doesn't listen to me or no one will listen to me or whatever it is. I've been challenged to be more mindful of how I am talking to him because I, I will quickly just be like, okay, well, you know, and it's like, oh, dear God. And, and, and honestly, come and let me know this is not how I was raised, honey. <laughs> Growing up, you didn't get a lot of apologies, okay, for your feelings. But I've really been leaning into, honey, I'm sorry. And, and, and so we teach him to say what he's sorry for. So it's not just like, I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry for stepping on your foot or I'm sorry for whatever. So the other day, he literally he literally came to me yesterday he came to me and he, look i'm not even i can't even see you all but you can see he came to me yesterday and he's like mommy you didn't say sorry and i had already said sorry because i was lotioning him right and i was doing it quickly and i poked him and he was crying and so again like so not to make him feel like he's not allowed to cry i let him cry and i comfort him right and i did say i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry so i was here in the bathroom and he was like hold on let me wash this off I have this more pulled back because I'm gonna wash my hairline. And this is the Innisfree Keep It Clean Hydrating Gel Cleanser. So he literally was like, mommy, you didn't say sorry. And I'm like, I did baby, I told you I was sorry. And he goes, you didn't say what for? And I literally was like, oh my gosh. You're right, baby. I'm sorry that I poked you, I didn't mean to, honey. And he was like, okay. And then he walked away. And I was like, oh my God, his little feelings, you know? And this is the kind of thing where I'm sure you agree and comment and let me know that we have been taught either indirectly or directly as children that what we feel doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? So it just, I just continue to be challenged every day to recognize his feelings because the last thing that I want to do as a mom is send him out into the world with a mother wound, you know, some sort of unhealed trauma from me. And that's why me being in therapy is so important. But I'm just reminded every single day, like be patient with him, listen to what he has to say. If I already know what he's about to say, <laughs> Oh, he already said it and I'm like I, I'm I'm in a rush or whatever it is just sit quietly let that man because he's a man I had to realize that too he's a man <laughs> let that man finish what he's saying and then say okay baby you know obviously my channel is not a parenting channel per se it's not a family channel but obviously i'm a mom i have a family so there's no way to go around that you know what i'm saying this is the innisfree pore clearing clay mask two times with super volcanic clusters honey these names always get me like what in the whole world so yeah i'm just constantly reminded each day to just parent differently than what I was taught either directly or indirectly. It's not like I was told ignore a child's feelings or whatever. It's just from what I was around and I know that you know exactly what I'm talking about. We just want to do better, Avi, right? And even when it comes to just his little feelings in general, I'm trying to teach him, you know, Tell me how you feel, right? All the pouting, the tantrums, whatever. He really is a really sweet boy. He don't be doing too much in those areas, but of course he does it, right? This child psychologist on Instagram said that saying use your words is bad. I was like, okay. So I stopped saying that. I'll be like, tell me how you're feeling. Speak, talk to me. Or I'll ask him, do you want to talk right now? And he'll be like, no. <laughs> and I'll say, okay, well, let me know when you want to speak. I want to hear what you have to say. And even that I feel like is so powerful because just imagine, right? If I was younger and I was throwing a tantrum and upset, I'm putting this in my T-zone because of, that's where it's 
oily. I, I would have loved to be asked, what are you feeling? Tell me how you're feeling. Now, this is not gonna look cute, but it's just, it's gonna be what it's gonna be, okay? And then I'm gonna put something else in the other areas. I haven't steamed my face in so long, so we are going to steam today. It is feeling so dry, so can this thing hurry up and turn on? <laughs> this thing's probably all dusty and dusted and busted. I'm gonna put the Nazima Classic Clean Original Deep Cleansing Cream on the other parts of my face because I just feel like doing two different masks today. So yeah, I mean, I just think about just his feelings, you know, especially when I think about how busy I am and all the things that I get to do, right? I don't have to do these things, I get to do them. And then, and I've talked about this with you before, he'll come and like, mommy, you're not gonna play with me. Why don't you play with me? You know, no, cause then you're gonna see that you're busy. Or you just, this is just anecdotes, right? And it's like, oh my God, it breaks my heart every single time. And praise God that school starts soon. Cause it's like, okay, you gotta be in school because I can't play with you all the time because mommy is also working, you know, and that's a challenge that I face. It's not easy at all. And of course, I take time to do stuff with him and we take time to do stuff with him. But I'm just saying, he, like, if you're, my, if you're a parent, you get what I'm saying, okay? And of course, I do feel bad if he's watching too much television or doing this too much when I could be with him doing X, Y, Z. And of course, I pride myself on making sure that I'm supplementing his education at home because that's important to me. I come from the education field. I wasn't a teacher per se, although I did teach a seminar or two in college. That was part of my grad program. But still, as an educator, I'm just like, you know, I do my part. But there's also that guilt of if I wasn't doing this, I would be sitting with him playing Legos or going to the park or doing whatever. But mommy has to work, not has to gets to work and loves to work. You feel what I'm saying? <sighs> so, you know, these are things that I wrestle with all the time that I just wanted to share and just chat with those of you who are parents down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. There's nothing about it that's going to change. It's not like there aren't other solutions that I've heard of or tried. <laughs> it's just, I'm not gonna stop working either. So there's that. I get a lot of questions about how I balance all of it. There is no balance. It just goes. It's just going. We're just going. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. We're just going. And the other thing too is, you know, he used to be in school all year round. So that was a help. <laughs> because then he could play and learn where I could work for hours on end. Whereas now it's different things throughout the day. It's not like you are somewhere from this time to that time. So that also poses a challenge, but I'm always grateful. I always have to say to myself, you know what? This isn't something that I'm complaining about. It's certainly something that I'm always having to navigate through. It's not like it has come to a place where it's no longer a challenge. It continues to be a challenge even today. Literally, even today. All right, I'm gonna turn this off, rinse this off, and then put it back on to apply my makeup. And I'm sure we'll need more water, so we'll put some more in. So after washing the face, the key is to keep the face hydrated so that all your products that you're gonna put on can penetrate the skin better than if your skin were to be dry. So I put the steamer back on. I did fill the cup back up again. It hadn't gone down too much. Fill it back up again. I did not pat my face, except my nose. And let's see what I wanna put on tonight. I don't know. This is the Glow Recipe Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. Obviously, retinol is not to be used on the eyes when it's formulated for the face or the body, but that product is specifically for the eyes. I have not put anything on my face quite yet. And I don't know why I'm so torn on what I wanna use today. <laughs> I'm gonna use this Suluasu First Care Activating Serum. This claims to be best for dry skin. Took several pumps of this. Definitely feels like water on the skin. It's not like a gel consistency. I this is my first time using it, so let's see how this feels. I'm gonna steam some more and see how this ends up feeling. Oh, and I'm reading from Sephora, it is lightweight, but hence why I said it felt like a water. So yeah, it is a lightweight serum and it's supposed to be good for hydration, which I need. And I love to do a good serum sandwich, honey. So this is the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Also fantastic for hydration. Remember the days where we used to pour this stuff onto our face? <laughs> And then the applicators would touch our faces and then go back inside the tubes and then it would be horrifying for almost everyone watching because of contamination. I haven't done that in a long time.
And now here we are with the Biosan Squalene and Omega Repair Cream. I've used this quite a few times. Uh, v, I'm gonna take an ample amount of this. Okay, so that has absorbed pretty nice look because I don't have my glasses or my contacts on, so I can't see that well. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Superfusion Facial Oil. This is the kind of oil that would go last. And you know what? I'm about to throw it back and drop it onto the face without touching it, of course. Lessons have been learned. Usually with the oil, I like to pat it in, <laughs> but since I just did this, I do need to wipe it on because the fear is sometimes that the oil in the other products might not interact well and then might begin to crumble but thankfully that's not happening today so not too much rubbing we don't want this to rub really i want the oil to create essentially a sealant over all of this it don't need to be rubbed in honey just let it stay right there okay just place her where she needs to go okay now that is a very rich oil i like how that felt now i did take a lot <laughs> i'm not gonna be skimping around here when it comes to the skincare products okay but that was that's a very rich oil i do enjoy that that is the end of my skincare routine this is a very relaxed almost vlog style video hope that you enjoyed it comment and let me know what your thoughts are on the topics that I talked about, and of course, the skincare products. Any questions you have about your skincare routine, leave them below. I'll link all the products that I use below as well. And as always, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for watching my video, and I will see you in the next one. And this is actually good night. <laughs> so, good night.